and now that we clicked open you go through this flash screen then it takes you to a login screen now if this is your first time using it you would not log in the very first thing you would do is click register so we're gonna click register here and this brings you to a registration page now I need to put in a real user we're going to mask or blur out the real user's name but for purposes of, the, of this video I will always refer to this person as our test user okay so I'm gonna put in a first name and we're going to put in a last name and then their email address and making sure that I get this right I'm a little bit slow typer and then we'll load in an e or we'll load in their password and uh, I'm going to show you something here real quick so I'm going to take off one character I'm going to click register and it would not allow it to go through because it said it should contain at least one special character so I always recommend that you add a special character somewhere within the password as well as upper and lowercase letters and hopefully even numbers just to make your account more secure so after you fill in this information first name last name email password and confirm your password you click register and it's going to register your account